Installing rigid foam on the outside of a house is a great way to double the R value of your walls and eliminate air leaks. In this video, builder David Joyce explains how his company details tricky spots like the exposed bottom edge of the foam where wind and bugs could get in and around window openings that would otherwise be drafty. For the foam to work well, you need to find all gaps and holes and choose the best way to seal them up. The first step before we start doing any foam is to put the strip edge on. We seal it with a silicone sealant on the back side up against the, the sheathing and the sill plate of the house and we put roofing nails to hold it. It has multiple purposes. One purpose is to redirect drainage from inside of the wall out past the veneer that would be on the foundation. Another is to protect from insects and wind driving up between the layers. We build plywood boxes around all of our window frames to provide a good place to put the ice and water to that we'd be wrapping this with and a sturdy place to put our window in. These plywood boxes serve no structural purpose. They're really just an air sealing and a place to put the ice and water to. So the three eighths of an inch is plenty thick enough for that. And it helps us maintain the shape of the window going all the way out. The purpose of strapping is to one, hold the foam on and in place, and two, to nail the siding onto. Having this on there and a rain screen on the wall provides us with a three quarter inch air space which gives us an extra 2R on the foil. The foil was reflective and we reflect out heat and help maintain the building's temperature. When we put up the foam, there's no way for us to put all of our strapping on to begin with. So we put these little blocks on to hold the foam while we're working. But we can measure off of that very easily to find our studs that are two feet on center and put on a piece of strapping, the screws, going vertically. When covering a house in insulated sheathing, it's our air barrier and we like to put subfloor adhesive or a silicone adhesive between the bottom plate and top plate of the wall and on exterior corner studs when we put the first layer on. This wall was done first and the foam went all the way back to this wall here, taping all of the seam and then this piece was put on and then this piece, weaving our corner. So at no point is there a straight seam going all the way through to the interior. We find the best tape to use for taping all of our seams, which we tape both layers is Dow Weathermate. It deals with the weather very well. It provides a three inch roll of tape and it sticks to everything. We tape the first layer to the box. Plywood box will then be resealed again to the exterior surface of foam, giving it a double seal and very airtight. 